you have a bunch of characters to create for an animation, video game. You could start out by creating one generic character and then copying it, pasting it, and then modifying the parts. This way, you have control of the overall character design to match whatever sketches that you've created. Your characters should look like they're part of the same universe. The next step is to start to sculpt with these characters, or at the very least, take them into a low, take five, take them into a lower polygon form that has a better layout and connection, such as here to here on the structure level, so you could continue box modeling or take them to sculpting. I'm gonna copy and paste this one, as these are going into a higher form of sculpting. Right now, they're just individual body parts. I need to combine everything together, apply retopology to the surface. This way, things like this leg that is just pushed into lower leg will be smoothed out, followed by doing a past of light sculpt to smooth out any sharp vertices and blend in the areas just a little bit better to take the character blank into a full sculpt. By starting out with the pieces and having this process in place will not only be a quick start to getting various characters designed of a bigger universe, but also by using this process of using character parts, you're ensuring the production of the characters will be a lot more uniformed, especially when it's going into the sculpting phase. Start to combine this, boleaning together this whole character. Going to add modifier, boleen, and this is gonna be the redundant function. Once you apply the boleen, select union, and then pick next part in the hierarchy. And then I'm going to apply all of the modifiers By another boolean and just continue doing this. Union, selecting higher up the upper leg, flying, add modifier, boolean. This goes by pretty quickly. Waist, union, fly, Now that you're all done, move your character aside and you can delete this version of it. And this final blank will be retopoed to better connect these pieces together. Here's a screenshot of where it's going, followed by a light scope to fix any parts that might not look like it's spinning together properly, followed by a deeper scope to really define the character. And as I mentioned, by using this process of Figuring out using parts of characters and putting them together and resizing them will give a great way to keep a visual consistency with your production. Last step is to export this character. File, export, FBX. Click on selected objects, blank 2F. Now the next step is to retopologize this mesh, which will smooth out a lot of these seams that you're seeing right now.